All right, I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, I just wanted to get a new video out there for um, for everybody watching. So I kind of wanted to go over today about kind of how I built this truck, how I built Luxie, um, why I did it the way I did it, what components I used and everything, um, and how I actually put it together because I was worried about serviceability on this truck. So. You know, if I have to go and repair something like the charger or the DC DC or the radiator or whatever, I wanted it right where I can get to it, right where I can repair it in a hurry. I mean, I can change this this uh, charger out in probably 20 minutes. Which, if this is like a regular EV or even in a Tesla or something, this would oh God, I don't know how long that would take to change this thing. So, because it's under the seat normally. Um, so anyway, I wanted to go over uh, some of the design on this thing and how I put it together and why I did that. Okay, so I'm not sure I've really gone over under the hood of this truck before, um, but I left the stock Toyota radiator. It's for a four-wheel drive truck, and this thing will cool. I mean, it'll cool a four-cylinder, um, you know, four-by truck, so it's, it's pretty beefy. So I, I wanted to run one of these just because it it's way too big for the components that it's cooling. Um, but that's that's okay when it comes to an EV or anything. You, you know, you can't really overcool this stuff. So I left that in its stock location. Um, the charger and the DC-DC I put just right up top here. There's really nothing else I needed to put under here. Um, besides my Home Depot bucket. DC-DC is easy to access. It's just a Gen 2 Tesla DC-DC out of a Model S. And then a Gen 2 Model S uh, charger to 10 kilowatt charger. And I chose these components too because this is something, these both are something I can get on eBay or anywhere and it's really easy to get. Um, so if I'm out somewhere and this, you know, takes a dump. I can probably find one. Some Reckinard probably has one or something, or, you know, wherever I'm at. So that's kind of why I did that. And then, yeah, so everything's kind of laid out to where I can work on it really easily. Kept it as simple as I could. I don't really like features on anything. So, um, yeah, that's how I did that. All right. Uh, so we're under the Hilux now, obviously. Um, so the motor's kind of, uh, well, everything's mounted just on basically some box tubing. Um, the way I kind of built this whole truck was just a MIG welder and a bunch of square box tubing. I built a heck of a lot nicer chassis than this before, but I really like just, you know, kind of the, the Duplo <laughs> kind of a build. So um, that's kind of how I built this whole truck. I just... Not thrown together, but just a simple, simple design and simple setup. So I put the whole, uh, I got a whole uh, BMW i3 battery pack in here in between the frame rails. I had to trim the the tabs here. There was some tabs for bolting it on. There was like little bolt holes there. Um, I trimmed those off, but that was all I had to do to this box to get it to actually fit in the frame rails, which is nice. Uh, on Toyota's, these frame rails are pretty dang wide, so, um, if this was a Ford Ranger or something, that would have been, uh, that wouldn't have worked, so I got lucky with that. So, Hawaii 3 battery pack in here, um, again, I'm about using stock components and, like, just trying to keep it as, as factory parts as I can, that way the serviceability of the thing's really easy, um, and I can get stuff like this battery box or you know, modules or whatever. Um, and then the motor, the Tesla Model 3 or Model S, small drive unit. Uh, and I went with this one instead of the LDU or the Model 3 because this is the simplest form of Tesla motor that I think they have. Um, it has a manual oil pump inside of it. It's just driven by the diff. And it's got an oil-cooled stator, which the Model three LDU, the large drive, is uh, water-cooled, which they have heating issues. So this one, 
definitely um, is a major improvement on that. Um, but yeah, if I ever have to drop this motor, which I've done a few times now, um, you don't have to really, it's not really too bad. You just pull these two bolts in the side screws there, pull the cables and this motor drops out. Um, I wanted that as simple as I could, you know, do as simple as I can have in case I got to change a differential, which I have twice now. So, um, that's how I set it all up. So on the inside of the truck, I have, it's kind of, you know, um, it's not like a luxury car, obviously it's a 72 Toyota Hilux, but I wanted to have some creature comforts, like a heater, uh, no AC and, you know, radio and all that stuff. But the heater is kind of cool. Um, that's the stock uh, Hino or Hino, however you pronounce that. Uh, heater box and luckily on the earlier Toyota pickups that's metal so I was able to cut a hole on the side of it actually not really cut a hole at all um, to put the electric heater core in there uh, and that runs on 400 volts so I was able to just stuff that into the box and now I have a, a heat heat source so <laughs> that thing's as simple as it can get it's Literally the 12 volt fan and the heater core click, it's on and off. That's, that's all it is. You, you want hot, it, you turn it on, it, it gets hot. That's it. Um, I'm, again, simplicity. And then windshield wipers, same thing. Just a little switch on the side. Um, and that's it. Keep this truck simple. Um, you know, simplicity is key for, for, uh, reliability so that's kind of how these Toyota pickups were built and I was trying to just keep that with it you know going with the electric stuff so that's kind of what I did okay so the bed of this truck is just a standard Toyota pickup there's just six bolts that hold it to the frame um, I wanted to make sure that if I have to go and service the battery that that's as easy as I possibly could get it so if I have to get into the battery pack, the charge port on the side has a big Anderson and a couple Deutsch connectors, and the lights have a Deutsch connector, so I just unplug them. Six bolts. I use a cherry picker and pop this thing off. Um, it takes like 20 minutes, so that's, again, I'm always after serviceability, access to everything. Can I work on this truck? Um, and do I need, you know, a whole bunch of crazy tools to do it? So that was my focus the whole time building this thing was making it as easy as I possibly could to work on it. So uh, that's that.